Hi, it's Heather, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to blend. Um, so when you're working with acrylic paints, sometimes blending can sound intimidating, but as long as you know the right way to do it and you learn the right way, it's actually not too hard. And then after you learn the basic technique, you can kind of build upon that. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. Let's get started. Okay, so here I have my materials. I have a canvas here and my water and then my brushes. So the flat brushes are definitely going to be the best for when you're blending. Um, and then I have this smaller brush, which is actually better for when you're doing like details and stuff. But you might want to do a little blending with that, so I'll show you. Um, for my paints, i um, using the Liquitex Basics for my colors. These are my favorite paints. Um, they're nice and thick, and they're also not super expensive. And then the white paint, I just use um, Dick Blick acrylic paints for that. And then this is my Liquitex Matte Medium. Oops. So um, this is Liquitex Matte Medium, and it's really good for blending. If you're having trouble blending, like if your colors are too dry, um, then that'll really help you. All right, so um, first I'll show you how to blend the background. So the background is such a big area. Um, so for that blending, um, I'm going to start with a color, so let's say blue, and I'm using my big flat brush, so like I said, flat is definitely going to be better for blending. Um, and then I'm just going to put some on my canvas, so I'm kind of going in all different directions here, but you know, for your background, there's a lot of different backgrounds you can do, so you might do like only um, slanty, slanted brush strokes or only side to side, you know, it kind of depends on what you want. But I'm just going to show you very basic. So say I get this color on and then say I want to blend some of this color in. Then if I put this color right next to it and then I want to overlap it a little bit. And also notice how much paint I have. So I have a good amount of paint since I want them to blend. I'm putting most of the paint down here, not over the blue. So the green I'm not really putting over the blue too much because I still want some of the blue to show. So I'm putting a lot of it down here and then once I get enough out of my brush, I'm kind of bringing it up to the blue and overlapping it. Now the more I brush, the more it's going to blend. So like say for example if I get some of this blue now and I put it here and I just Put it over it like that. It's not super blended, it kind of looks like stripes. You see a green stripe and a blue stripe. Now if I want it to blend more, I'm going to brush more. So you can brush the perfectly straight strokes so they're going in the exact same direction. And I'm moving my brush up to the green and down to the blue. Up to the green and down to the blue. And um, then, as you can see, now this is more of like a turquoise-ish color, um, and then this is more, um, also is a little more, has a little more blue in it, and um, so that is, basically that blends it. So the more you brush, the more it's going to blend. Now one thing that I also like to do, um, just to make it blend a little better, so say I put this color here. Um, and I want to blend it with that color. So I can go s just straight like this, just straight brush strokes across. But if I make my brush strokes a little bit diagonal, so I'm going to go do some, I'm, I don't, I'm not going to go crazy like up like this. I'm just going to go, like say this would be straight, I'm going to go a little bit diagonal and then a little bit diagonal this way. And then that's going to blend them really good. That's going to get some really good blending in there. So I'm kind of making an X. So I'm going diagonal this way, straight, and then diagonal this way. So the other thing is notice that I'm doing long strokes. So I'm going all the way from here to here. Um, so a lot of times when I see people trying to blend, they're just doing like short little strokes. Um, which is okay, like, if once you know the technique and you're kind of putting your own spin on it. But if you're not comfortable with blending yet, then you should do these long strokes, and that's going to help you to blend a lot better and get a much smoother background. Okay? 
So um, I'll just go ahead and grab some white and I'll add some of this in. So see how I'm going underneath it and then I'm bringing it up. So um, so then when I go start to go diagonal, see how it works a little better. Now it's not blending super well here. So see how some of this blue paint is kind of stuck. One thing I can do to kind of bring that out, like if I want to be more forceful, is um, put my brush so that I'm using um, like the hard end. So rather than having the big end, I'm going to turn it so it's going to be just the skinny end. And then I'm cutting in. So I'm pushing the paint down. So I'm actually being much more forceful. And then I'm going to smooth it out. So I actually do that a lot. Um, if I really, I'm trying to be forceful with the paint and it's just not going where I want it to go. So, um, and then another thing, which this is kind of like my secret little tool, is that Liquitex Matte Medium. So on my plate, I have my Liquitex Matte Medium, and you'll see it's like, it's very liquidy. So unlike the paint, which is really thick, this is pretty thin. Um, and it's thin and white, and it actually dries clear, though. So, like this part right here, you can see that it got really dry because um, you can see all the little specks and you can see the canvas through it. If I take this Liquitex Matte Medium, because say I don't want any more paint on it, you know, say I want this part to be pretty light, and then I brush this over it, it actually is going to help it blend really well. So it kind of... Um, it kind of thins it out, but not the way water does. So if I was using water, it would kind of like break apart the paint and um, it wouldn't really cover the canvas very well. But with this Liquitex Matte Medium, it still has those bonding agents that are in acrylic paint. So um, it's still going, like all the paint is still going to stay together and it's not going to break apart. Um, and also when I'm doing this, um, I'm really going pretty lightly with the brush, so at first I went hard to kind of blend it out, but then I want to smooth it on the top. So I'm going very lightly. Okay, so one other thing when you're doing your background. So, um, as you notice, I stopped here and stopped here, um, but when I'm really, when I'm doing the whole background, I really want to cover the whole thing, of course. And I want to kind of start like on the outside of the canvas for blending and end coming off the canvas. So, for example, I'm going to take some of this white paint and I'm going to fill the rest of this in right here. So, um, so see, I'm not starting on the outside putting the paint on. Like, you can put the paint on wherever you want. So, say I'm going to put the paint on like this, wherever I want it. And then maybe I'll get a little bit of blue, put it down here. And then see, notice how I'm putting the paint on sideways, which doesn't really go with the rest of the strokes, but that's only to apply the paint. Then, without any extra paint on my brush, I'm just going to brush it up. Okay, now, one thing I see a lot of people do is start their brush in the middle and then brush up. But then you get these weird little brush marks here. See, it doesn't look very smooth. So this is the part where once you get the paint down, then you take your brush. Don't get extra paint on your brush, so just use your brush as is. Um, if there's a, still a lot of paint gooped up, you can also just wipe it off on your paper towel, but don't rinse it. I'm going to start on the outside of the canvas, let my brush run across the canvas, and I'm just going to, um, here, let me pull this down. So I'm going to start on the outside of the canvas, like in the air. Let my brush run over the canvas and let it just fall off. See? Like that. And then that's how you won't get those weird brush marks in the middle. Okay, so now you can see where my paint has started to dry, and yet I'm still trying to blend it. So if you look right here, it's really like gloopy, very thick. And you may have come across that before, where um, your paint gets really thick and kind of gross, and you either just have to like let it dry. If you mix water with it, it's just going to like pretty much ruin everything. This is where the Liquitex Matte Medium is going to save your life. So if I grab my Liquitex Matte Medium, and notice, if you would have put water in here, it would just break it apart and look horrible. But the Liquitex Matte Medium, it kind of like revives the paint. This is super thick, so I'm going to cut into it like this, just to kind of 
um, thin it out so it's not quite so thick. And then, see, with my Liquitex Matte Medium, it pretty much, like, revives it, and it's back to normal paint again. It's a little bit thinner, but it's still going to be paint. It's still going to, you know, stay together. It has its little bonding agents. So I'm just brushing over this to blend it. And then notice how I'm going all the way across. So I'm starting on the outside of the canvas, letting my brush run. Start on the outside, letting my brush run off the canvas. And then starting on the outside here, letting my brush run off the canvas. And that's how I'm getting these nice, smooth lines. If you need to fill in a spot, just get your paint and you can fill it in. And then you want your brush strokes to still go, you know, the way that you want them. And then, see, I can do this to blend it in, but then see these brush marks right here? So I'm just going to go back over. And then when your paint starts, when you've been using your paint for a while, like I've been working with this paint here for a while, so it's starting to get pretty weird. So at that point, you just want to go very lightly. So I'm like just holding my brush very lightly, and pretty much it's just gravity, like having um, putting my brush on the canvas. So I'm not actually using any force. I'm just letting gravity have the brush on the canvas, and I'm just going back and forth. Okay, so um, as you can see, this part's gotten weird, so I'm just going to put some matte medium on it. But you don't want to overwork it too much, so at some point, like, it really is just going to be too much. So, um, you know, I always say, wait till, you know, you have your painting pretty much okay, and then just be like, okay, I'm good with it. Because if you keep messing with it, um, you're just going to be stuck in an endless loop, and you're just going to keep fixing it and going over and over. So, um, I'll just add some green here, and then you can see once I add the green, then I'm going to let my brush go all the way across. Okay, so that's how you do that blending. Now I'm going to show you, like, if you're doing some shading, I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm just going to finish up this background really quickly, and then I'm going to, um... And then I'm going to let it dry, and I'm going to show you how to do some shading on the background. Okay, so my background is all dry now. Um, let's go ahead and make a moon on this background. So I have my Liquitex Basics Neutral Gray. So I'm going to use that. And I'll just put some on my plate. Okay, so um, I'll start by just using, I'm going to use my small flat brush. And I'm just going to get some of this gray here. And then I'll bring a little bit of white over and mix it. That'll make it a little bit thicker and also just kind of like tone down the color a little bit. Um, we want to have some different tones in here, some lights and darks, so that'll kind of help with that. Okay, so and then let me just kind of wipe my brush off so that I don't have a ton of paint on my brush. And if you look at my brush, you can actually see that, um, you know, you can see my bristles. So it's not glopped up on it. Also, the um, the main amount of paint is on one side of the brush, and then the other side, I try to keep it pretty clean. Okay, so let's start with our moon shape. So for this, I'm drawing on the canvas, so I want to have my brush perpendicular to the canvas, and I'm going to start by doing this, like a half circle here. And then I'll just do the other part. Okay, so this is my basic moon here. Okay, so now that I have my basic outline, I'm going to go ahead and fill it in. So I'm just going to get more of this white and gray together. And just filling in my moon. Okay, so, um, and this, 
this is one part where I don't want to actually like fill in the entire moon all at once because when you're blending you want the paint to stay wet. That's how it's going to blend. Um, I definitely see a lot of people like fill in the entire thing and then it's already dried down here and then the blending's not working. And so then you got to apply more paint um, so that then the paint's wet and then you can blend. So I only did, I'm going to do it like in portions, so I only did this part right here. And then I'm going to um, get some more gray. So for this, I use the white and gray together. So for the shading, I'm just going to use a little bit of the dark gray. And then see how I'm kind of wiping my brush on the plate so it's nice and um, thin on my bristles. And I'm going to go right along the bottom of the moon like this. I'm just taking the paint and I'm just going right along the bottom. Almost like a little stripe, like I'm going right along the inside of the moon. So I'm going to have this line here when I do this. Okay, so see how it's a solid line and of the dark and then you have the light. I'm going to take my brush, wipe the extra paint off my brush onto my paper towel, not rinsing. So now my brush doesn't have any uh, extra paint on it and I'm going to put my brush so it is covering the dark and the light at the same time. And I'm going to brush over it, not just once or twice, I'm going to keep brushing. That's very important. Remember, the more you brush, the more it's going to blend. So if I brush five times, it blends more. Ten times, even more. And then see how nicely blended that is. So that's what I wanted to show you. Um, that a lot of times people get really intimidated by just doing shading like this, but it's actually way simpler than you would think. So let's add a little highlight on this part of the moon. So I'm just going to get a little bit of white on my brush. That might be a little too much. I'm going to wipe it off on my plate. Okay, so I have a little bit of white. And just like we did with the other one, I'm going to do basically like a stripe here, like right along the inside. Okay, so I have white right along the inside here. I'm going to take my brush, wipe the extra paint off onto my paper towel. So my brush is pretty clean. Put my brush so that it's covering part of the white and part of the gray. That's very important. You don't want it just on the white, you don't want it just on the gray. It's got to be overlapping both. And I'm using a bit of force here. You kind of have to get a feel for it, like if your paint is thick versus pretty thin. Um, if it's not blending very well, you can push harder with the brush. And then see how easy that was? All it was was just taking your brush and just brushing over it in the same direction, same direction as the strokes. And then this paint is also starting to dry a little bit, so this is where the matte medium really um, comes into play. So then if I just get a little bit of my Liquitex matte medium, and I just brush over it, it'll blend it even better. And this isn't a requirement. You don't need the Liquitex matte medium. Like when I teach my classes, we don't have it. Um, it's just if it kind of starts to dry, then you probably would want to wait till it dries to do a second coat um, if you want to blend it a little more. But this is pretty good how it is. So um, then I, I'll move over here and show you another thing. So, so with this part, the moon was wet right here. It was wet and then we added paint and we blended it. So what if it's dry and um, we are adding, adding wet paint to it? Okay, so I'm going to show you. So I'm mixing my, I mixed a little bit of my white and gray. And I'm going to go right here. And I'm going to do some wet paint, but I'm not actually putting any wet paint where I want the dark part to be. So this is wet, and then I'm going to get some of my dark paint, the dark gray, and I'm going to go right next to it and slightly overlap it. Remember how we slightly overlapped the background paint? I'll get a little bit more. Okay, so we have light and we have dark. I'm just going to wipe the extra paint off on my paper towel. And I'm going to put my brush so it's overlapping both. And I'm just going to brush. It's blended, but I'm going to brush more to blend it more. The more you brush, the more it blends. 
And now I'll add a little bit of white here, so I'm getting the white. And so this part right here is dry, it's just the canvas. So I'm getting the white, and I'm just going to go right along that part. Okay, now I'm going to take my brush, wipe the extra paint off on my paper towel, and I'm just going to brush over, and I'm going over the white and the gray in the same direction. You don't want to go this way, you want to go this way. You want to go in the same brush strokes. And then we just have this one little last part to fill in right here. And there we go, so that's pretty nicely blended. So, um, oh, we have a little ridge of paint right here. Okay, so that's how you do um, your blending, and it's very simple. It's just put the two colors next to each other and brush over them. So that's what I meant by, you know, it's actually very simple. Um, and then once you really have that technique down, you have a feel for it, you know, your hand gets that muscle memory and it's pretty easy, then you can kind of um, build upon that. So, you know, then you'll kind of know, like, when you can um, brush harder, brush lighter, you can, you know, when you're adding paint to the wet or when you're doing too dry things and that kind of thing. So, um, but once you get that first step, that'll really help it's um it's gonna kind of like propel you so you'll be pretty good at blending and then the last thing is um if you're just blending like a small little detail so i'll do that with this brush so i'm gonna get my brush wet and dry it so my bristles come together and um i'm going to add just um, oh, I'll do a little star. Okay, so I'm going to mix some of my gray and my white, and I'll do a little star right here. Okay, and then let's say we want to add some shading to this star, so we can't really use a flat brush because this is such a tiny little thing. Um, so I'm going to take my brush, wipe the extra paint off because I still have paint on my brush. I'm going to get some of my dark gray. So notice that I it's not clumped up on the brush. So it's actually, you can still kind of see like where the bristles are and everything. You can see the bristles. Okay. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to do like a little shading here and a little shading here and you could just leave it with the, because it's so small you know it's not going to be super noticeable or you can blend it so which I would take this brush and wipe the extra paint off on my paper towel so now I don't have any extra paint on my brush and then I'm just going to brush over right between um, the dark and the light just like with the other one it's just we're using a smaller brush this time and of course smaller strokes because it's a smaller little area and um, since it's such a small area it might also dry pretty quickly so like some of this it seems like it has actually dried a little bit so I'm just going to get some more of that paint the white and the gray together and I'm going to put that back on and then I'm going to get some of my dark gray and I'll put some of that on and then wipe my brush off and then go back and brush over these to blend them a little better. Okay, so um, so there you go. So that's how you blend. So just like practice a little bit and um, when you're doing your shading, just remember you just want to put the two colors next to each other and then brush over where they meet. And that's the main thing that you need to know. So I hope that helped and good luck with your blending. Have fun.